Adam Fentili is having one of the best freshman NCAA seasons ever. It's early in his draft year, but if he keeps scoring points every weekend like this, not only will he earn a nomination for the Hobby Baker, but he could become a candidate for the number one overall spot in this draft class. The Connor Bedard draft could become the better Fentili draft. In this video, like the ones before, we will review one of Fentili's games to better understand his strengths, weaknesses, and overall NHL projection. Small world of remains. Here's Fantilli going to the net. Score! Oh! Adam Fantilli! This first play of Fantilli will please a lot of NHL scouts. The puck gets stumped in the zone. Fantilli goes to retrieve it. He has a bit of time and space, so he uses it to scan around the ice to find a point. He takes the puck off the wall, absorbs the hit, and uses it to spin and then attack the net. Few NCAA freshmen can generate offense from the wall like this. The scanning helps him prepare his play. He makes sure to pick up the puck before the opponent arrives and he doesn't get too close to the wall to have some room to bounce and spin as the hit comes. He turns while protecting the puck and tries to jam it near the post. Then, Fentilli attacks the slot and gets inside potential shooting lanes to try and deflect an incoming shot. The play moves the other way, but he gets the puck back on a rush. He can shoot here, but he improves the location of his shot by freezing the defender with a few feints. This shift starts in the defensive end. We get a first look at Fentili's playmaking ability. Fentili gets the puck, he waits until the poke check and Samoskevich clears his own defender, and then hooks a pass in front of Samoskevich to allow him to pick it up in stride and shoot. This pass is exceptional because of its precision and timing. And here's another great pass. Fentili attacks in a double drop formation. The puck gets sent into his feet, but it doesn't matter. With two soft touches, he sends it toward his teammate inside space. Then, he gets to his position on the half wall, and we get to see more of his playmaking ability. Many players simply distribute the puck on the power play. Fentili prefers to play on the edge. He challenges defenders constantly, attacking their space, baiting poke checks, and forcing them to move. His team creates a bunch of chances in this shift, and it's mostly because of what he does, his movements and his deception. The Luke Hughes, and a shot is fired there, off the mark by Sam Oskovic, and he kept in there as Luke Hughes gets into Pintelli. Now back to Sam Oskovic again. That's a beautiful entry. He moves outside to drag the defender that way, changes speed, and attacks inside to beat him. The defender flails desperately, but it's useless. Fentili is in full control. He challenges the next defender, keeps him frozen by positioning the puck like he's about to shoot, buying time for his teammate to attack the space behind, and he manages another precise pass in front of his teammate, before repositioning at the far post for a potential tap-in. War 3 shifts in, but it's already clear that Fentili has the potential to become both a high-end playmaker and physical player, which is a rare combo. This is another fun shift, and there are more coming. Look at this. Two feints, a dangle, followed by another dangle. What's really interesting in this sequence is how aware Fentili is inside his moves. He barely has any time to look for option, but he still scans twice before retrieving this puck, to find his teammate and then reposition for a pass. And once again, he goes from displaying soft skills to hard skills. He battles with defenders and easily holds a position in front of the goalie. And the great thing is, Fentili also has a defensive element to his game. Again, he's a freshman. This is not common. He plays against much older opponents. He's not a shutdown center yet. He's a bit too eager to go on the offense for that. But overall, he positions himself well and he stops many opposing plays. He switches from attacker to attacker, keeps his stick in passing lanes, pressure opponents well, and he's quick with his footwork to always be in a good position. He even reads through the puck carrier's deception here and intercepts a cross-ice pass. So far, we've seen both examples of offensive and defensive anticipation from Fentili. Good signs of hockey sense. Here we see Fentili's forechecking ability. Maybe this was not the best play of this defenseman, but Fentili still forces him into a mistake by taking away his option with his stick before pressuring him. He then gets to the puck first and feeds it in front for his teammate. Fentili reloads above the puck and he kills another breakout by charging at this opponent, forcing him to get rid of the puck. His team recovers it, this pass barely misses his stick. He goes to retrieve it, he scans for support and then sends the puck to his teammate in front. Fentili has shown many times already in this game that he's a very aware player. In this shift, he attempts to get his team in the offensive zone. The play fails, but he repairs it. Most players his age in this situation would go straight for the puck but Fentili charges at the opponent's hands. The hit takes the opponent out of the play completely. It allows his team to cleanly get possession and gain the zone. Nothing really happens in their first presence in there, but on the second one, Fentili takes advantage of a Luke Hughes rush to sneak behind the defense. He controls his speed to stay open and puts himself in a great position. Sai drives in, out of front, he scores! Adam Fentili! This rush sequence doesn't work for him. 
but I still think it's worth highlighting to show his awareness. Fintily gets the puck and he attacks down the wall. He has no real option. He can either dump the puck or try to dangle. He manages to pull off one or two before losing the puck. Maybe a rim and a forecheck would have been better here, but the way he approaches his dangles is still interesting. Fentili is not your traditional dangler, he's not all fast hands. What he does instead is watch the opponent. He looks for cues, like the positioning of the stick and the movement of the defender's hands, feet and midsection to adjust. As long as the opponent makes the first move, he can avoid it. He just places the puck inside space away from the poke checks. It's only when the opponent waits and lets him make the first move that he's in trouble. His awareness inside his moves, the way he's able to read body cues and positioning so fast on the ice, is very projectable to the NHL. We see another example here. Before receiving the puck, he scans for the positioning of his coverage to see if he can get a step on him. Fentoli is not very fast at this stage compared to NCAA opponents, but he's quite adaptable. He knows where sticks will be coming from, so he keeps the puck out of their reach by handling in front of him. And also, he doesn't really overhandle the puck. He keeps it inside space and does his best to neutralize opposing sticks instead. The fact that he has the presence of mind to know that he won't get to the net and that it's better for him if he turns to try and reach Samoskevich is also very good both his hockey sense and technical ability seem to work well together in his game, which makes him very dangerous. It's going to be a difficult kill here for the Broncos. Yeah, Wolverine's two for three here tonight so far in Western Michigan. Fentilli scores from the right side. Fentilli is also threatening when quietly supporting the play. The reason he scores so easily here is that he moved one pass away. He anticipated the next play of his teammate and skated in the right position to support that next play ahead of time. When the pass came, he just had to finish the tic-tac-toe play. On top of his puck skills, it looks like Fentili has some real instinct for offensive positioning. There's a last highlight to look at in this game. He keeps this puck by dragging it around his stick as he receives it. He follows this play with a drag shot to try and bypass another defender's stick, but the shot misses. The play moves the other way, and we see one last defensive sequence from him. He follows his man down the zone and slams him on the boards to separate him from the puck. This last shift gave us another example of Fentili's ability to mix high-end skills and physicality. He can provide a lot of different elements on the ice. He can use his body to win pucks back, dangle through defenders, pass around their stick, and sneak behind their backs to score. We didn't see many clear weaknesses in his game. Again, this is just one game, and when you watch Fentili, you have to keep in mind that he plays with creative players who sometimes makes things easier for him. They dictate his plays by being in the right place at the right time and by beating defenders consistently. Fentili scores because he's smart and skilled, but also because he has the right supporting cast, which might not be the case for other high-end players in this draft. Out of Bedard, left circle to the net, shoots, he scores! But still, what he's doing in the NCAA right now is amazing. Like I said before, if he keeps it up, it will be another open debate as to who deserves the number one overall spot in this draft class. Over, here's Hughes, now Fantilli shoots, no! So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. You can also check out epringside.com for more prospect analysis.